Turbine transport is done in the early hours of the morning, as the components of the turbine are oversized and getting stuck in traffic is not an option. The turbine delivery was the responsibility of GE and transport company KVN. Within the transport of turbines, a route survey must be carried out from the port to the site. And they'll carry out this route survey because the, the length of the trailers for the blades in particular are 60 metres approximately. So as you can imagine, getting around some tight bends on Irish country roads can be quite difficult. So in certain instances, we would have had to modify certain corners on roads uh, to allow uh, the turbines to access uh, the site. Uh, in this project, we had to modify the, the road from uh, the N21 to the site. We have had to widen it and it had to be resurfaced and we had to improve a number of corners. For this particular project, uh, Turner Fuller, we transported the components from the various manufacturers um, around Europe uh, into the port of Foynes by ship. We unloaded the components in Foynes um, with the use of uh, the harbour cranes and everything that is uh, all, all the requirements uh, there and we uh, then transport, loaded them onto the transportation vehicles and transported them the short distance uh, here to the site of Turner Fuller. Turbines are delivered to site when required. The erection of turbines requires the use of two cranes, a 500 tonne and a 100 tonne. Turbine erection can only be done when the wind speed is below 9 metres per second. The uh, process for uh, the erection of this turbine is uh, for, for the 1.5 megawatt turbine, which we have here, is um, that uh, we build it um, on a just-in-time delivery uh, basis. That means that we deliver the items from the port and if the weather is, allows, we erect the components uh, straight from the vehicles, uh, the transportation vehicles, uh, in, on, onto the foundation. So the, the first component that arrives uh, on site uh, is, what, uh, is an item we call the PPM vehicle. It's a three-tier steel construction which is then assembled and bolted together and then lifted onto the foundation. On, the, on, the, on this PPM module there are the uh, electrical cabinets and uh, the equipment for the actual uh, working and uh, the computers uh, for information to be sent back to Airtricity and also to our facility in, in Germany. The second, uh, what then happens is there is a second, uh, the second vehicle is the base tower section. This is erected between two cranes. Um, the type of cranes that we have here for, for this particular site was a 500 ton telescopic crane and a 100 ton uh, tailing crane. Um, these components are then lifted uh, by the two cranes off the vehicle and uh, what we call top and tail until um, until the tower section is actually uh, in a vertical position where the tailing crane is then uh, disconnected and the main crane then lifts then the base tower section and places a base tower section over the top of the, uh, the PPM and um, the guys, our guys um, then uh, bolt it to the uh, foundation adapter piece. This is also carried out, the same, same system is also carried out for the uh, second and the third tower section. With the tower complete, the nacelle is raised into position. At 52 tonnes, the nacelle is the powerhouse of the turbine. When complete, it will operate in winds from 13 metres per second, generating 1,500 kilowatts of green power. The nacelle is hoisted over the tower and lowered into place. When all the holes line up, the nacelle is then bolted in place. Not until all the bolts are firmly in place will the crane release.
With an nacelle in place now, the turbine erectors have the task of raising the blades. The blades are bolted onto the hub on the ground. Then the entire assembly is ready to go. The 500 ton crane takes the strain, while the 100 tonner is used to spin the blades into the upright position for the lift. Lifting 33 tons of blades requires great skill from the crane operator and turbine erectors. The crane operator is to guide in the blades and hub 65 meters above the ground, blind, under the guidance of the turbine erectors. Slow and steady, the blade assembly is lifted into position. The ground crew use guide ropes to keep the blade assembly stable as the lifting takes place. The blades are naturally designed to spin in the wind so lifting can only take place when there is little or no breeze. The erection time for uh, this size and this type of turbine, uh, which we have erected here in, in Turner Fuller, is basically on a two-day basis. Um, this is obviously depends on the weather. Um, we had uh, various problems, especially with phase two of Turner Fuller. With the 30 machines, we had a lot of downtime through due to wind. As the hub is guided into position, a steady hand is required. One jarring motion now could easily damage the threaded bolts. This is precision lifting. The hub is now bolted into place and another turbine on the Turnafulla site is complete.